So tell my friends that I'll be over here Oh, oh here Oh, oh, oh here Hi everybody, um, I am April Simpson Hunt of Mermaid Mama Designs. Um, I wanted to check in with you guys. It's been a couple days since I've uploaded a video. Um, today is Christmas Eve. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, but um, <laughs> I was on a, um, a roll where I was uploading videos and I was motivated and I was pushing. Um, and then it got closer and closer to Christmas. Um, and I have been emotionally struggling lately. Um, I feel like I'm probably not the only one. So I wanted to check in and make a video about it. Um, I do this every year around Christmas. <laughs> Honestly. I get um, a little down. Um, I think... I, I, I really don't like calling it depression. Because I feel like depression is a big thing and this isn't such a big thing um, it's just more being down um, but it's almost like I can't help it so maybe it is depression um, I do this every year around the holidays uh, the closer it gets the more I get kind of I just struggle um, I struggle being motivated um, I get sad and then my sadness turns into anger um, that's my number one sign of um, anxiety and depression, is I get angry over everything. Um, and this morning, I had a huge fight with my husband. Um, now granted, there are things that he does that are unacceptable, um, that I feel the need to speak with him about, um, but I always approach it in the wrong way, and I always start an argument, as opposed to just discussing things with him, especially when I'm feeling like this. Um, now this Christmas, uh, we usually go to visit my parents about every other year, um, and I have a big family. I was very close to growing up. There were five of us kids, we moved around a lot, um, so we were each other's best friends and only support system. Um, but none of us really liked talking on the phone, so uh, even though we're very close and we're there for each other if we need to be, we don't talk very often. So holidays are usually, and visits, are our only chance to really kind of catch up and be with each other. Um, and this year we were supposed to go be with my family. Um, but I am a procrastinator, and my husband is a procrastinator. Um, and he, his work schedule, he still has to work around the holidays. Um, so only gets a few days off. Um, and I kept asking him what days they were, and he kept telling me, and I kept forgetting. So I forgot to schedule with my family up until, you know, this month, uh, which the rest of my family is very schedule-oriented, and they schedule things months in advance. So we would have still missed my oldest brother and my middle brother, but I still would have seen my two youngest brothers and my parents. Um, and we could have still gone, but it would have only been for a day or two. Um, and traveling by myself with all four kids uh, for just a day as much as it would be worth it emotionally for me to get to spend time with my family uh, it's just it's a struggle um, I was diagnosed with fibro a few years ago and even though I fight the diagnosis because um, I don't like being labeled I don't like labeling things um, I very much think that I do have a lot of those symptoms. <laughs> um, those symptoms are chronic pain, chronic fatigue. Um, I'm trying to think about the symptoms. <laughs> pain in specific joints in your body. Um, chronic memory issues. It's called fibro fog. It's actually a thing. Um, like I said, I don't like to diagnose myself. I don't like to say I have depression, I have anxiety, I have fibromyalgia. I don't like to do that because um, I think that once you do that, you put yourself in a box. Um, not for everybody. For me personally, I'm more tempted to say, oh, that's because I have this. Um, I was diagnosed with ADD. Um, so for the entire year after that, um, when I would forget things or when I would be confused or 
trying to do too much, I would say, oh, that's my ADD. And even if I say it in a laughing matter, I'm still using it as an excuse. Um, it's just me, it's just how my personality works. And I know myself well enough by now to know that I can't, I can't give myself a diagnosis because I will do that. I will brush things off and not confront them and deal with them like I should because I will just say, oh, that's this. Um, like this thing right now with the holidays and depression or sadness or whatever it is I can't just say oh I have depression <laughs> because that to me personally for me not for anybody else um, that is not how I will deal with it if I just say this is depression then I'm not going to learn to get a better handle on my emotions and I'm not going to learn to argue or discuss things with my husband better um, like I should um, anyway um, so that is because I'm not going to visit my family I am very sad um, and I also get sad this time of year so those two things combine but instead of making me sad and instead of wanting to say to people like my husband or my kids, oh, I'm sad, <laughs> sorry, I just, um, I get angry instead because I don't know, I guess it's the house I grew up in, um, we don't like to feel emotion, we don't like to discuss emotion, um, and anger or humor is much easier to deal with and to convey and it's more socially acceptable, at least that's how I feel, um, than sadness. Nobody wants to be around a sad person. I don't know how to deal with people when they're sad. Um, somebody cries around me and I want to hug you, but I also want to run away. So I don't want to be sad around other people. Um, now, somebody's angry, I can deal with that. <laughs> I can just sit there and cope with it or fight back with them. Um, or humor. Humor is another way I use to deflect my true feelings. Um, I use sarcasm a lot um, because being sad isn't funny. <laughs> but anger can be funny and humor is definitely funny. Sarcasm, wit, those are things I recognize. Um, but the truth at the end of the day is that I am sad. I'm feeling sad. Um, we lost my sister-in-law this year. We lost a lot of people this year. Um, but instead of focusing on how I felt about it, I worried about my husband and how he felt. And I didn't know how to deal with him and how to make him feel better. Um, so then I ignored it. <laughs> um, and I keep telling myself that I didn't know her well enough to be sad about it. But I did. Um, it is sad. I mean, I'm sad for my kids. That they won't get to know her as well as they could have. Um, and I'm sad for my husband. But again, it always comes back to, um, I don't like being sad, I don't like feeling sad, I don't like talking about being sad. It's much easier to ignore it or to be angry. Anyway, I know I'm not the only person that feels like this, so I wanted to make a video and discuss it with you guys. Um, how do you deal with your sadness? Um, and do any of you do this around the holidays where you get sad? Sometimes for no reason. Merry Christmas to those of you that celebrate Christmas. Happy holidays to those of you that celebrate other holidays. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being my friend. And be sure to like and subscribe. Um, be sure to hit the bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Um, thank you for checking in. Thank you for watching. And have a great day. Tell my friends that I'll be over here Oh, here Oh, here Oh, I ask myself what am I